Okay, confession time, and thank you, Beyonce, for making this a lot easier on me. Okay, so Beyonce lip synced the national anthem. Anyone has a problem with this? Have you ever been under as much pressure as Beyonce was that day? She looked great, and also, how good was her lip syncing? And at the end, when she did like the like the ending, you know, like the musical theater, like, oh, shake that song out of my system. It was like she was really singing it. That's why we all loved it the first time. It's still her voice. Get over it. Here's the other thing you need to get over. This is my real voice. I've been lip syncing my vlog this whole time. Well, here are some other things that we thought were real but ended up being fake, but we always kind of knew they were fake to begin with, all right? Manti Teo's girlfriend doesn't really count because I didn't even know he existed until I found out she didn't exist. Lance Armstrong not being Superman. Uh, when he started dating Sheryl Crow, we all kind of knew something was off. Am I right? Are you strong enough to be her man? Really, though. Are you really? Mariah and Nikki's feud on American Idol? That's... I want that to be real. It's not. When Ellen DeGeneres was the romantic lead in that movie, Mr. Wrong. Mr. Very, very wrong. How about every time you bought like a notepad or an organizing app on your phone and then were convinced that your life would like come together? All of Taylor Swift's relationships. All, don't even act surprised anymore. Roger Federer not actually being a prince. Just turns out that that MasterCard ad was really effective. Brody not actually being Brody, but actually someone else in real life with a foreign accent. Maybe he's not even a ginger. Cloud Atlas the movie being able to be somewhat nearly as good as Cloud Atlas the book. The purse you bought drunk on eBay. The time that I found out that my friend is a ghostwriter for James Patterson. And then you think about all the other people who have like ghostwriters. And then your mind is blown. And then you go back to the cheese buffet. Let me know in the comments the things that you thought were real but then turned out to be fake but you kind of knew were fake all along. But still we're like, what? Oh, and lastly, this isn't my voice. This is my real voice. It's just cuter than I am, so I thought you wouldn't believe it's real. You guys, you're at a basketball game. You start that song strong, and you get to the Rockets Red Glare, you start phoning it in.